everybody. We are on our way back to try to get to our house. So as you know, horrible Cat 4, borderline almost Cat 5, direct hit to the west side of the state, Englewood area, and South End got it worse than we did, but it's bad. We waited a couple days before we tried to head back, and uh, we were a little bit fortunate. The eye went right over us, but we were on the north end of the eye, so everything on the south end of the eye was pulling water up into land, whereas at our house in that area, it was pulling water back away from land. But a lot of people in that area lost a tremendous amount. We're also thankful that we had family on the east coast, Jamie's sister and brother-in-law and their families had a couple of houses that were empty so we were able to bring everything over there the, the cat the dog and in our house our canal came up to our backyard almost to the house the front yard on the road just the tops of the mailboxes were sticking out of the water so that was just from rain there was no storm surge fueled up the boat and i bought a hose that i can tie into the fuel tank so I can siphon gas for the generators because there's no way people can't find gas over there where we live for their generators so we're just using this as a fuel tank so we can have electricity with the generators this is baloney I ordered the double quarter pounder that's a single. What do you got, my dear? Crazy to think a main thoroughfare like I-75 gets closed. That tells you how much water is rushing underneath it to make it not safe. Due to the flooding in the Mayaka River, Starting to get into the bad stuff now. Look at that tree lifting all the sidewalks. And Danny Duncan made out.
street signs are down. That's all their stuff came through the yard. Wow, look at the tree, babe. Look at how far the water came up in the yard, guys. Look at how close it was to breaking it. There, there's a wall of prayers right there, guys. Thank you for that. One of their sheds blew over. So the water was almost to the house. There used to be fences over there on both sides of that lot. We did good though, guys. It looks like our roof held up very well. Missing some screens, some trees. What do we got, honeybees? Yeah, honeybees. Are they after the sap? They sure are. Well, that's weird. I want some of that honey. I bet that tastes funky. Look at all the honeybees. Of course, they probably don't have much to choose from at this point. Tom's got a hole in his roof. They got a hole in their roof. They lost, is that a shed? I don't even know what that is that's laying there. Looks like we did get some water in the house, but not bad. And uh, no, all we got is a bunch of firewood. I can live with that. And a nail right there. That's the big thing, guys, is all the nails that come out of the shingles and that stuff's all over the road everywhere. So, so many people got flat tires and yeah, that's from our house. It probably came off the garage. No leaves left on any of these trees. Look at that whole bank. If we would have gotten that storm surge, so if this is where the water came up to, let's just say this is connected to the Gulf. There's a lot of culverts and different things for the water to come through to get here but let's just say we only got five or six or seven feet of the store surge that would have put the water i'm six foot two six more feet of water from the surge we were on the north end like i said and it sucked the water out everybody south of us got this the surge and that's why down that way it's it's literally hell. So, whew. We got chairs and stuff washed up in here. So here's the crazy part. Jamie was like, what about the log pile? What if one of the logs gets blown into the house? And I was like, no, they, I, they should be fine. The log pile is literally like a kickstand that kept it from finishing the job and possibly tearing off the corner of our house. How amazing is that? Sitting right on it, pinched tight as tight can be. Oh, we are blessed. Now, we'll get some fan, get generator going, get some fans going, try to dry our house out because it's stinky but uh, not bad at all. I gotta go finish checking a couple more rooms, bedrooms and stuff, but then I can show you guys some of the other areas, some of our friends' houses that are gone. Horrible, so we are very fortunate. I almost feel guilty how fortunate we are. Squirting like crazy a second ago. Not bad there though. I thought it was an artery, but so that's what happens when you're cutting with a chain with a saw and it slips. Slap myself right in the leg. 
Sure wish I had my chainsaws. I should probably stay out of that bacteria-filled water now. Probably can't even get into a hospital right now. This is when dumb stuff happens. Of course, usually it happens to me, but... All right, back to it. We got a lot of stuff to pick up. Cutting it by hand is the hard part, especially when I got a trailer load of saws and stuff up north. My cousin Josh, Jamie's cousin, is supposed to bring it down, but it's gonna be hard getting down here. The roads are just wadded up. Buddy Dave gave me a transfer pump, so we're using all the fuel out of the boat to bring to people with generators that don't have any way of getting gas right now. So it's slow, but it works. to get to Jamie's mom's house they can't get out and get fuel for the generator but I don't know man I can't see the road down there there's cars stuck in the water so I may not be able to get there this way I'm gonna have to try to find an alternate route Can I get through on the other side? You might be able to. Well, I'm just saying the road is still there, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy how much current there is. is guys is there's so much debris that's caught in all of the waterways it's jamming everything up so this stuff can't get to the gulf It has been four days, maybe five days. I'm sorry, I've lost track of time here. And there's still this much water.
right in. can't imagine the amount of gasoline and oil and just nastiness that got into the water. There's going to be debris for years. This boat looks like it did pretty well. It's amazing. Just even that boat didn't come down, but you can see it's all smashed from debris flying and hitting it. I mean, this is just devastation. Devastation. Twisted steel and oh, horrible. I feel so bad for these people.
those people are trying to get onto the ferries to get over to the island. So obviously the ferries are still running, but a lot of these people haven't been to their homes yet. We're doing a catch, clean, and cook, but the weird thing is, is I caught this stuff several years ago. It's been in the re freezer for over two years, might be even three years. It's a, a venison roast, and uh, obviously we have no electricity. We do have a little water pressure. We're thankful for that. The only problem is, is you've got to boil it before you can brush your teeth or do any of that, which I took a dirty shower today. <laughs> whatever I, I feel okay I, I got weird like infection spots and stuff no I'm just joking we're good but uh, yeah so we're having some venison stew on the crock pot that's being run by that loud generator all of our windows are open we did lose our bedroom floors all that stuff uh, swelled and is, is um, well no good anymore but Compared to most people, as you will see from the video, we made out amazing. I'm telling you, it's almost like somebody stacked up prayers like sandbags around our house. And we're so thankful. We just want to thank all you guys. So many of you have reached out and uh, sent prayers and uh, well wishes. And that's just, it's nice to see how many good people are actually out there and that care and we just thank you for that because I believe and we both believe that prayers do help 100% ain't that right Ben yep. <laughs> so Ben has went to go back to work today but they're trying to clean the store that he works up at because they lost their roof and it, they've been working on it trying to get it back in service and uh but anyways guys we just wanted to say thank you and we're well spirits are high i'm not sure that my wife uh can put up with you much longer but we're gonna do the best we can so we love you guys i know this is a really weird thing here with the flashlight but that's all we got it's only about 102 degrees in here but it's all right we're alive, we're well, and thank you guys so much for all your support, and we love you. And I guess if I can put this video out because we have no internet, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Love you. Thank you so much. Bye.